Hey, you know me. I love comic books. Yes, me too. I also love comic books. You know what, though? With all the comic books we read and review, I don't have time for my true passion, video games. That's... Definitely not true. That's why I want to tell you all about this week's sponsor, the Gaming Ride Home Podcast, which has video game news, rumors, reviews, release dates, everything posted every day at 5 p.m., perfect for your drive home. We live in New York. We don't have cars. When I'm driving home in my car, I love to listen to host Kyle Hilliard chat down the day's video game topics, and the great news is the podcast is only 15 or 20 minutes long. Oh, you could have just said it you listen to it on the subway or something. Basically, Kyle Walking. is online all day catching up on video games, so... So I don't have to. And then I can go home and play all my video games instead of reading my dumb comics. What is your deal? Two years of podcasts and 25 million downloads can't be wrong. If you're a gaming fanatic, then catch up on the latest gaming news every day. Search your podcast app right now and subscribe to Gaming Ride Home. Alex, I need you to apologize to comic books, the concept of comic books right now. I'm so sorry. That feels better. Welcome to Comic Book Club. Put your hands together for your hosts, Alex, Pete, and Justin. What is up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I am Pete. And that's our man of the booth, Rodney. Ronnie Rotten. Ronnie Rotten. Ronnie Rotten. Oh, okay. That's what Thanks for remembering. I, yeah, I, I got, got a you. memory like a... Steel trash. I trap. got That's you. What it was. There we go. Civ. Yes. Yeah. One of uh, those things. Nice. So, guys, I want to ask you, how was your Valentine's Day? Our shared oh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, great. Because yeah. as well, you know, Alex and I spent every Valentine's Day together. Course. He's Aww. always my Valentine. No offense to you, Pete, but we were married by a Jedi once, and that <laughs> didn't go very well. <laughs> it did yes. For a number of uh, reasons. Yeah. I took him on a gondola ride, and oh, that was very nice. In New York City, there's a gondola ride? It was fucking freezing. It was oh. very cold, but he sings in Italian like an angel. Oh. Oh, so la mio. Yes. Oh, that's racist. What? It, it, what? It's definitely not racist. Okay. Uh, Something else. Yeah. Um, was this key? the bit that you wanted to do? <laughs> well, I, just wanted, I wanted to ask. Uh, how what was your Valentine's Day like? That was fun. What'd you do? <laughs> I went to I went to Philly. We went to the museum. The museum, the most Great. romantic place. Uh, I, in the I city. love. By the way, we've recorded already a couple of podcasts this evening, and yeah. I love that Pete is offering up the minimal amount of information about everything. <laughs> He's very What'd you coy. Do? I went to a museum. Yeah. He's very coy. He's very flirty yeah. tonight. It's the Valentine's. Well, how, what'd you do? I got to hear about Zalbins. Uh, uh, I had the day off of work. Uh, so on Valentine's on Day. On Valentine's Ooh. Day. And so we uh, put our you children. Were at uh, Hallmark. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And we were like, fuck this. We're done. Yeah. If your heart's not working, you're, we can't help <laughs> you anymore. Uh, so we put the kids in uh, to school. Right. And then we went to a restaurant and drank wine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice day. It was very What time? Fun. Early. Yeah. <laughs> like 11.48. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, it was, it was a little very day fun. drinking, day, man. day drinking on, yeah. on a Friday, Valentine's Day. Oh, that's really? nice. There we go. Very nice. And then we went upstate, uh, for the weekend cause it was also president's day weekend yeah. and almost burned an Airbnb down. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, the, uh, I was building a fire and uh, in the, in the house. Yeah. I don't know. I was yeah. cold. <laughs> no, in the uh, fireplace. On the couch. Yeah. Oh. The thing about a fireplace is it's right in the name. Right. It's right. The fireplace. Yeah. Right. But you gotta open up the flu. That's well, here's what I did. I opened the flu. This is the most I've heard Pete talk about. I think all <laughs> exactly. He's closing in on me. Uh, you know he's interested because he's, <laughs> he's turning, away from facing the away from the audience. Uh, he's like, yeah, I didn't tell me about the time you got <laughs> fucking burned. Yeah. <laughs> very intense. Uh, I opened the flu. Uh, uh-huh. It's a very old house, and uh, the fire already had a lot of wood in it, so mm-hmm. I made it very big fire. Nice. Uh, and the flu uh, was broken, and it closed. Oh no. oh, no. And then the house filled with smoke, and I was like, oh, no. And it, because it was so hot, it was very hard to turn it back it, yeah. to open. Yeah. yeah now, yeah. was it before or after this happened that you remember that you had left the kids at school on Valentine's Day? No, yeah. that was fun, because the teacher, we got her a nice big <laughs> box of chocolates. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, way to go. Uh, no, uh, it, it was fine. It ended up being fine. And we then had another fire the second day, because we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, happy. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day to us. Very excited to have this guest here. He is always one of our favorites on the show. Yes. He is the Associate Director of Development for Complex. That is, is that correct. Right? There we go. Yeah, let's give us one prize. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right. Okay. Jason Torres. Jason Torres. Welcome back. There he is. Hello. Have a seat. Please, have yes, a 
Watch it. I got Watch you. Out. There's a water. I got you a water. There's from, a water over there. From Niagara Falls. Yes. Ooh, that's the best. You falls. said you wanted a, a water, and he ran up to the falls. Yeah. Got it himself. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks so Anytime. much. Anytime. Uh, Jason, of course, we planned for your appearance here very far in advance. <laughs> yes. You have a lot of material prepared, so. Yeah. Go no, for I it. didn't. I didn't hear an hour ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, so, right. yeah, this is great. But I, I've been here a bunch of times. Like, if this was SNL, I'd be, like, the John Goodman or Tom Hanks. Ooh, nice. Not yeah, right. in terms of, like, talent, but in terms of, like, the number of appearances. <laughs> right. Like, Where he's like, around a Just lot. make him a fucking cast member already. Right. Oh, yeah. wow. That's what right. The sort of thing, like, for. ah, shit, we have nobody to do this part tonight. Who's in the city? I like that you think of us as a cast. Because we consider ourselves like two, three guys that were handcuffed together many years ago. <laughs> yeah, more of a chain gang. <laughs> but even more interesting, you, you, you accidentally said two at first. I know, it is weird. Is well, one of us isn't a real person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess which one? Guess yeah. which one? Uh, what is going on with you? You're working at Complex, obviously. Yeah, I'm working at Complex still. And, um, you know, just plugging along, working in development. For people who don't know what that, what that means, it's literally developing new concepts for shows. If you're not super familiar with Complex, the biggest show we have right now is Hot Ones. Yes. Yeah, great. Just spun off and do a, a game show. Yeah, it actually premieres tonight at 10 o'clock on Woo-hoo. True TV. That's why we booked you an hour ago. Yeah. For the big <laughs> premiere. For I'm, the big premiere, the big plug that everyone will hear about tomorrow. <laughs> I love that show. I'm excited about that game show. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I, I, you know, I, I wish I... If you really are fans, next time I come here... I've after, seen every episode. Oh, well, the next time someone cancels and I show up here, yep. what I'll do is I'll bring some of the hot sauces with me. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Shit. I don't want to try that. No, nah, yeah, you really? do. You think you, do. you think you don't. You do. No, yeah. actually, you don't. Yeah, Yo, I can, don't. I tell you, can I tell you a crazy story? Yes. yes. This is real. Nobody knows this. And like, Holy shit. I might oh, even get ex- in trouble for this. So I'm, I'm going to be a little bit... It's right. Nobody, Nobody hears this podcast. Yeah. This is all, all right, cool. off yeah. the record. So the other day... A major celebrity came in who mm-hmm. has been in, I would say, one of the biggest franchises of all time. I'm not going to say what it is, but Ooh. there were several movies. Flubber. It was, a, <laughs> it was several <laughs> movies, several huge movies that made tons of money, epic fantasy oh, movie. Really closing in on the details. Yeah, okay. well, you know, I'm still legally vague enough. Yeah. Okay. So he comes in to do some other thing. Also, he... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, age range, older or younger? Yes. Oh, so he, com- he comes in to do to do a thing. Uh, oh, actually, if you really want to, he's been in two different. Well, he's been in a, in a comic book movie and this other project. Okay. So he comes uh, in. I know who it is. He he comes. Wait, in. who is it, Pete? It's Vigo Mortensen. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> so he comes. Co- 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 I can't believe you knew that name. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's a big deal. It's Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood comes. Oh in. shit! Oh, there you go. And he's he's doing some other thing. I don't know what it is exactly. We would have never guessed Elijah Wood. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, he, he was, was very in- close with Vigo Mortensen. Yeah, he was yeah. pretty close. Yeah, he was in uh, what's the uh, the Frank Miller movie. Sin City. He was in Sin, Sin City and uh, Lord, Lord of the Rings. Of the Rings. Yeah. That fits the description. All right, so he comes in to do some thing. I don't know exactly what it is, some interview. Mm-hmm. And he brings a friend with him. And after they're done with the thing, um, they're hanging around the office. And the hot sauces are all over the place. Sure, it's like sure. their whole yeah. identity. Yeah. And so uh, they're like, oh, wow, these are the hot sauces from that show. Can we mm. try one? All right. So book, bookmark that. Mm. Now, my pers- that, that's what I found out. What, I, what happened to me is I got to work a little bit late, and it was a weird vibe in the office. I couldn't tell what it was from. I got to my seat, did my thing, hung out. Later on, somebody says, man, crazy day, right? I'm like, no, what are you talking about? I, I just got here. They're like, you didn't see the ambulance? I said, no. I said, they said, you didn't see all those paramedics? I said, no. You didn't see all those people holding up the elevator? You didn't see any of that? I was like, no, I didn't see it. Like, maybe I took a different route to my desk. I'm like, what happened? They're like, Elijah Wood, <laughs> Elijah Wood saw the hot sauces and said, hey, can we try these? And his boy tasted one and, like, collapsed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. wow. Full had, body shutdown. Yeah, full body shutdown. And they had to, like, rush him out the building. And oh apparently it was a whole spectacle. So all that to say, those sauces are no joke. And you can see... The real intensity of those sauces tonight at 10 p.m. on True TV. <laughs> yeah. You see, that's how you do it. Yeah. Wow. Yes. What a yeah. Bring it I home mean, at the end. Those sauces have like really fucked some people up. Hell um, yeah, dude! That, I took one. I, I took a taste of one. I like I dipped my finger in it and tasted it. Which one? Which one? It was the one called the bomb. Was it? Yes. The, oh can I, shit! Can I mention insanity? something? 
Can I mention something about Hot Ones, the game show? Because I have seen the first episode, and I'm sure this will go up after that. Uh, Just on the hot scale, uh, within the first five minutes of the first episode, one of the contestants is vomiting in a bucket. Oh, (laughs) wow. Like, straight up. That truly is a hot one. Yes, it (laughs) is. It is. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, but that's like a that's a little anecdote. <laughs> True. Uh, what do we do? Sean so anecdote, like cool tell a fun, come out, tell a funny anecdote. We ask you about your current projects. Yeah. Well, yep. right, oh, actually, right now we, I am working on a cool project. Uh, it's for Facebook, and it's it's called <laughs> Fan Fatel. Ooh. And it's a ah. basically it's basically this, but with two girls. Oh, Why would you make okay. women? Why would you All make right. that casting? Well, that's, that's I didn't, probably they better. pitched it. They they pitched it to uh, Complex, and we yeah we, we be, picked it up. Yeah, and uh, we'd be girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, is that we, all it takes? Yeah. yeah, it'd be like a Bosom Buddies reboot. We yeah, and so uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's it, it used to be it was it, when it was when it's been developed. If it helps, I, I can remind you that one of us is not a person. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah it makes it easier. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, if you do you have a guess who? Yeah, well, it was. It was called like Geek Girls or some bullshit like that. And they, they landed on Fan Fatel. They're gonna start shooting it soon, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a geek culture show uh, hosted by two women, and um, you know it should be a lot of fun. There'll be like you know packages and interviews and whatnot. So it should it should be a good time. But all that to say, Complex is dipping their toe into. You know what? What? What we refer to around the office is geek culture. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Is that too inside? No. Yeah. All right. uh, well, speaking we of which, we were talking about this backstage. You took your daughter to see Birds of Prey recently. I did. Uh, b- sorry, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Say it right. That's, that's actually. No, no, no. Okay, so hold on about that. I know a lot of people are like, no, it's now called Harley Quinn colon Birds of Prey. Yeah. That's just for SEO reasons. It's just on a couple of what websites. What does SEO mean? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Wow. Okay. Do you have wow. other questions? It's fucking Well, fuck you here. for asking me. You're the one speaking in different languages. I'm trying to put people just listening saying, at home. It's Maybe still no one called, speaks what the fuck you're talking. As we all know, when we walk up to theater, we say one ticket for Harley Quinn and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Right. Yeah. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous sure, Emancipation whatever. of One Harley Quinn. <laughs> yeah, if you just say Birds of Prey, they won't give you a ticket. That's right. right. Yeah, That's just a different movie. Title. That's just yeah. a documentary about regular birds. <laughs> yeah. And what a smart move to release on the same weekend. Oh, <laughs> so smart. That bird doc figured it out. Yeah. What did you think of Birds of Prey? I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, a couple times when I did feel like kind of zoning out, um, you know, my my kid who's who's seventeen was like like letting out like audible, you know, Aww. like wow or woo, you know, cool, wow, oh snap, you know, like she was way into it. Yeah, that's so great. a couple of times I went to turn and be like, that that was awful. Like, but yeah. it was it was cute. Do you shush cool. her? No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> it was it was really fun. Smart man. I, I I enjoyed it like through her more than I enjoyed it myself. Like put it like this, I don't think I would ever watch it again. But I'd watch it with her again. You know what I mean? Because I know Aww. she's yeah. she has the soundtrack. She's already looking for the the, the merch. You know, she's fully involved. Nice. Awesome. And you kind of do forget as dudes that there isn't a lot of shit like that for women, and like yeah. especially for young women. And it is it is super cool. I walked away from it feeling like it reminded me of when my little sister was small, and I and we saw uh, Charlie's Angels. Yeah. And it's like you look at it, and you're like, this is so like cheesy there's all this horrendous like wire work and these poorly choreographed scenes and ridiculous characters but it is inspiring to someone and it's like it is it is weird to um to see someone feel like seen and represented even if it is something cheesy so you know i was able to keep looking at her and be like wow well yeah that was awesome and i remember after she was like oh my god that was so cool i'm like it was yes it was <laughs> wasn't it yeah i like the part with the karate they all know karate it was fine. It was fine. Uh, what did you guys think? I know you guys. Saw, I, I you saw it together. It. I heard. Uh, yeah, I took him for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yep, that's <laughs> nice. Uh, Me and Alex had. No, it. I, I love the movie. I thought it was great. I was so. It was so much. I was looking forward to it, and it was better than I thought it was yeah, going it to be. Definitely was better. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, one of my qualms with it actually is, I wish 
I wish they had made it a little less hardcore, like a little less R rating. Mm-hmm. Because somebody asked me right afterwards, they're like, "Would you take your daughter to see this?" And the answer is no. She's ten, right? Uh, and it's not necessarily about the content. It's just. There's an overwhelming amount of cursing, an overwhelming amount of violence, and I feel like they could have gotten so many more people if they did actually tone it down to a PG-13. Yeah, there's, a scene, there's a scene where uh, Harley like gets out of a jam because she's uh, like uh, hyped up off coke. Yeah, yeah it's like, that it's coke like spinach. scene was hilarious. It was it was funny. <laughs> Which I was distracted is funny. though because like um. There, like the 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 cocaine was everywhere mm. and in like, the movie theater you were watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and I remember my 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 kid said like, "Oh my god, that was so weird." The scene like with all the the coke was everywhere, and I and I thought to myself I was like, "Coke? Like no, you you say cocaine? You say like yeah. the you too familiar legal, with that? Yeah, yeah. like what, what, what are you using the slang for? Suddenly like, you start noticing there's a little white powder. Yeah, I mean, this explains all the moodiness too. I thought it was hormones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And all the stock trade she's been doing. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. She called it Colombian chalk dust. Yeah, I don't know. What, what is she plugged yeah, she into called this? It, she, called, she called it face fuel. Yeah, she called the Keith, that pure Keith Richards shit. Yeah. What is he, yeah. what, how does she know this? Yeah, that's what I said. She said booger sugar. And I said, what are you talking Whoa. about? <laughs> she's very plugged into but the cocaine scene. I, completely, Dude, I, it's, I blame Snapchat or TikTok. It's one of these things yeah. I'm not, that I don't understand. It's definitely that. Yeah, TikTok's uh, you, pure cocaine. This is a yeah. little side thing, but have you got the thing as a parent? Uh, there are parents who will tell Tell me, they'd be like, you got to keep your kids off TikTok because they're recruiting people for ISIS. Oh, God. Which Chelsea, like, who says that to you? If, if my kids want to get recruited for ISIS, there's much more direct ways than joining yeah, TikTok. You know? I'd just be happy for them to accomplish something. Get them out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with that is like, my kids are not being recruited via TikTok. It's their right. other right. It's that the I've email that I forwarded to yeah. them. <laughs> what yeah. parent is coming up to you saying? Re-ISIS recruitment. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I did. I forgot about that scene. That scene was a lot of fun. It was funny, yeah. Yeah, it's. It also like really does a good job of like because you have this character who doesn't have. She's not. There's no moral center. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like she would be able to do that, and yeah, yeah. Be, you know what I mean. It it kind of really made it a lot of fun. I like how they really leaned into that in a scene where like um you know where she's sort of like be. Without spoiling it, betrays someone's trust yeah. very deliberately, and then goes like, "Well, I guess I'm a shitty person." And it's like, <laughs> yeah. "Well, like that's if you know yeah. if you're gonna own it, own it." You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, it felt very true to the character of Harley mm-hmm. Quinn, which I thought was great across the board. Yeah, uh, just for a little context before we move forward. Um, it's hard to keep this conversation going because Pete is laying down. <laughs> He's fully laying <laughs> like, down. You're, you're the one who brought out the no legs couch, I motherfucker. Just sit gotcha. up. <laughs> Be a person. Be present. I am being a person. Be present. What we need fuck? you here. We need you here, Pete. We need well, you. I did before. not take you to see Birds of Prey on Valentine's Day for you to lie down on I, the job. First off, I wouldn't. I wanted I'd you to never fucking lie down on Valentine's Day. If you don't want to be again. We never. You're always on your phone. You break the movie up into weird segments. It's fucking annoying. Wait, shit. Justin uses his phone in yeah, the movie the whole time. No, I, he's got his what fucking screen up. It's not it's true. The, the gall of you to yell at anybody uh, about their movie behavior when you are screaming the out loud time. the entire time. And I'm only using who my cares? Phone. I'm only everybody I care. yells. Nobody. At the movie. What are you talking about? Nobody yells. What this, are you talking about? This, yes. I'm not the only one yelling at the Poppy screen. Poppy the popcorn doesn't come out at the beginning and be like, please silence your cell phones for no reason. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, well, just ignores that shit, so what the fuck? Pete, I was downloading cocaine. <laughs> I was downloading cocaine. I, was on my, I took it on my phone once because I was like, Bullshit. let me check on my family. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to move on with our next section, which we like to call The Stack. Yeah. Woo-hoo! And in the stack, we're going to talk about a couple of Marvel comic books that came out this week, because that's all we read anymore. Wow. Whoa. First one we're going to talk about... true. No, that's not true. Uh, first one we're going to talk about Doctor Strange, Surgeon Supreme, number three from Marvel. Uh, I love this book. We talked about Very this a little good. bit, I believe, on the stack, our Wednesday morning podcast. Uh, but the concept of the book is that Doctor Strange is now once again working as a surgeon, as well as... As the Sorcerer Supreme, and it's such like such a clear TV premise that they're hitting 
on an issue monthly basis that I yeah. think is executed so well. Yeah, but it's it gets a little like he's like, oh, I'll just be surgical with my precision. It's like, fuck you, Doctor Strange. I get it. You're a doctor again. You're probably excited about he it. Gets but like, one of them. You know, he gets I, one of those. Yeah, yeah you, you, get, you get a couple. You're right. You're right. I like how he just sort of slips between dimensions, and he's like, "Like, what's his destination here?" He's just like, "I'm going to go wander in the right." He's walking well, there. So, so a guy comes in. He has been aging very quickly and prematurely. Uh, Doctor Strange very quickly figures that out. It's because of a tattoo he got from a very sketchy demon, uh, and he traces the demon back to a two dimensional dimension. Yeah, uh, that very happened fun. to me. Huh? That happened to you? Yeah, you got to watch where you get tattoos, man. No, but because of an, a tattoo, I, I aged prematurely. I I, I got a uh, a tribal tattoo, uh-huh. and, and <laughs> I got it like in two thousand. And now everyone at work thinks I'm fifty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a hundred percent true, and I'm so sorry. Uh, I think we should surgically help him out. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? This is actually a comic book podcast and tattoo removal parlor. Oh, cool! Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Did I say that really well? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you really <laughs> a parlor. Really, really nailed like the parlor. I, I saw it coming too, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to say that word. I'll just say this world. It's just going to roll right off my tongue. <laughs> parlor. <laughs> Uh, this book is very good. Definitely pick it up. And the yes. art by Kev Walker is so good as well. Art is fantastic. Next one to talk about another orange cover from Marvel this week. The Amazing Spider-Man number 39. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Now, this is uh, dear and dear to our hearts, right, who, Justin? Th- this, who wrote this? Huh? Who wrote Nick this? Spencer. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. What? It's, it's a bullshit issue. It's not a bullshit issue. It's a issue. podcast in comic book form. How annoying is that? It's the it's J. Jonah Jameson and The Amazing Spider-Man are on a podcast together. Now, right. I feel like this is especially apropos for us. Sure. We should talk about it. We should Why would you it say that? Because we're none of us are Spider-Man. We're journalists. No, we're not. Just like J. Jonah Jameson. Maybe Salvin is, but you're not a journalist. Don't you dare tell me what. Get me mean. pictures of Pete LePage. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. He's basically sedentary. <laughs> uh, you, can make a draw, are... you can make a drawing of Pete. What's that? You can make a drawing of Pete. You don't need a picture. Like yeah, oh, yeah that's true. Just, I could sketch him a over still weeks life. as he slowly sits here and <laughs> eats a Subway Congeals. sandwich. I mean, these are my guys. They're hanging out on their podcast. Uh, it was just you... really right here in the heart. Really? Did, why? You, what do you think? I couldn't believe the whole issue was a podcast. I was like, I kept reading going, all right, well, this will end soon. The podcast was, the uh, whole... to be fair, the podcast was the framing device. They kept jumping back in time to show J. Jonah's relationship with Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. Um, I love... Spoiler, by the way. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I One thing that I actually love about what they're doing right now, uh, it was a huge move for Peter Parker to reveal his secret identity to Jonah Jameson. Uh, but the way they're working it out, that they are still at odds, even though Jonah mm-hmm. is like, Spider-Man is great. I support Peter Parker. I'm your biggest fan. But as being even more terrible about it is such a fun move. Yeah, I think Nick Spencer's been on this book for a long time now. And I think he's really laying down a lot of, like, new world for Spider-Man. And it's it's really fun. Um, And I like how in this podcast, the people producing it, it's funny if like having a producer, but like, uh, they're like, (laughs) what's that? that, This podcast, it's not, they're all getting, they're both getting along. It's no fun. They need to fight. Right. That's where the friction comes. That's where the excitement comes. And ultimately, by the end, Spider-Man and Jonah are fighting. Yeah. And they're like, this is great. This is gold. This is the best. Two, two cool things about this to me. <laughs> like, like Chance is in this. And like that, the I remember that, that being, yeah, Chance the Rapper. Nice. <laughs> no, uh, Ch- Chance the uh, supervillain. And I remember like, uh, you know, back in the day, uh, that like Spider Man, like two ninety seven or ninety eight, like right before Venom. Um, Venom. He was on the cover, <laughs> and I remember having that and like like tracing the cover and like trying to learn how to draw the oh, cover. It was like nice. an early McFarlane, which is like what made me fall yeah. for uh, him and Spider Man, and like so I was like, oh, it's always cool to see him. But then also remember in the last Spider Man movie, Far From Home, how. J. Jonah Jameson is depicted as sort of like a podcast quack, like a Alex Jones. Yeah. So it, it immediately made me think of that. Like, that's a perfect lane for him to be in because, like, that's how he would exist today. So I, I just thought that was, like, really fun. And I'd, I'd love to see more of J. Jonah as, like, a, a, like a, a crazy 
Alex Jones type podcaster. Yeah. That's sort of the direction they went. I mean, it was the very end, but mm-hmm. of the last Spider-Man movie. Yeah, yeah where they uh, positioned him as that. And it is, yeah, it's a very fun place for him to be in. Mm -hmm. Uh, Last one we're going to talk about, Savage Avengers number 10, also from Marvel Comics. Pete, you're savage. Yeah, I thought this was fun. savage. I think this is a cool team. It's nice to see uh, Doom in the mix. Yeah, who are the the stars of this book? Uh, You got Doom. Right. Your old buddy, Doctor Strange, who is yeah. now a Oh, man, so many doctors doctor on again. this team. A lot of doctor stuff. Yeah. It's like ER up in here. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely ER. It's Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Um, a reference from the last decade. Sure. <laughs> the resident. Uh, yep. <laughs> the good doctor. You know what we're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We, we watch TV. Private practice. Yep. House. Doogie Hauser, MD. Good. Helpful. Jason coming in. So, uh, head to head scrubs, to, scrubs. Head to, scrubs, uh, scrubs, ah, uh, scrubs. Oh, oh, oh um, scrubs. Um, 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 um. I don't want Doctor Degrassi Junior High. There's a doctor in that show. Sure, I think. Doctor, doctor Stranger show. Things. Yeah. Oh, uh, Doctor Doctor, starring the dude who played Max Hedrum. Yep. Oh yeah, there you go. That's it. thank you. Yeah, yeah. that's why I come here. Yeah, got to Lighten up, Kevin, in the front row. He was, he was itching. He was like, if someone doesn't mention that show, I'm going to scream it out. Yeah. <laughs> the real answer is Doctor Who, motherfucker, in your face. You should have thought oh, that ages ago. Yeah, that's easy. That's your whole. Right. Shit. That is, yeah, that's my whole identity. That's your whole identity. My whole identity. Your whole personality is, is one doctor. Is doctor Who. who. <laughs> doctor. Yeah, it's kind of doctor. true. Doctor. Doctor. Yeah. Pete, was there anything else you wanted to say about the comic book, or yeah, did we co- cover it? Uh, you guys covered it. No, I just, uh, I think this is, you know, as the title says, it's a bunch of badasses hanging out. What makes it out. more savage than the regular adventures? Oh, there's more fighting, I think. But uh, I, I just like the team up of this, and Conan's also in the mix. And uh, is he is he going to medical school or what's going on with Conan? He's he's a resident. Yeah. No. Please, please. I'm Doctor the Barbarian. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> as someone who doesn't read this, yeah. is is the presence of Conan what makes him savage? Because it's like there are a lot of like there's Dark Avengers. There's you know there's a West Coast Avengers. I don't do they even do that anymore? But there's a bunch of different Avengers. So these Avengers are the what? Yeah, I mean they throw the, Conan the in there. Avengers? They're yeah, you throw Conan in there and now they're savage, you know. And they're in more savage environments. The the first lineup was uh Punisher, Wolverine, uh Venom, Venom. and Conan and a Electra. couple of- Electra, and that to me was like, yes, okay, sure. That was like savage. Savage. Uh, (laughs) Who are you guys? Yeah, and a bunch of guys uh, from Queer Eye, like two fifths of the Queer Eye guys. And it was like, it was savage. I feel like Conan, when he's around um, other characters in the the Marvel Universe, I, I don't know why, this is a very visceral reaction. I feel like he smells bad. I feel like he's Conan? probably Conan. He's like shirtless, yeah. very sweaty man. He eats a lot of raw meat. Raw, exactly. Yeah. Which doesn't good that for keto him. funk. Yeah, keto <laughs> funk. He's, yeah, he's definitely <laughs> he's definitely paleo, yeah. basically, because yeah, that's all he knows. Yeah. He doesn't even know about nuts. And no, seeds. no, no. That's those are for gatherers. He's a hunter. He's a hunter. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he, does, he, he goes gathering. to a bar with Wolverine. And he's like, "What the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to eat this." Bowl of pretzels? nuts. A bowl. <laughs> oh, nuts or pretzels. Either way, I think he'd be like, what the fuck? He is goes to a bar with Wolverine. Bar snacks <laughs> get in their way. He goes to a Panera. Was... He fucks up a Panera. <laughs> he's like, what is any of this? Yeah, he thinks Wolverine's too sophisticated. <laughs> Wolverine. It's good. <laughs> to a Panera. Got wow, him. you really got, got him. him. Got him. You got there him. The is. best time. Yeah. There it is. Alex yeah, kids yeah, got there it is. God, Alex. There Look, he can't even recover. <laughs> he can't. Got him. Uh, great uh, man. He's still not he's good. shattered. Give yeah. me soup and a bread ball. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. that? No bread balls? What no lentil? Way for bread balls. What's your lentil soup of the day? <laughs> yeah. oh, boy. I'm, I'm sort of going veg. I'm, I'm off meat. I ordered on the app. I ordered a bear claw. <laughs> this isn't a bear's claw. Where, where's the order pickup? <laughs> Is it over there? It's by the pickup count. Oh, that's weird. Why are they separate? No, no, no. I, I ordered already. <laughs> I actually ordered a latte, and this is a cappuccino. The foam sticks. The foam sticks in my facial hair, and I uh, really... it's uh, it's not showing up as points in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a savage, a savage event. Yeah. Pete, what do you think about this? this is fun. Yeah, you got it. Uh, you guys have fun. We're having fun. fun. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. We're insulting your. 
belief system. Yep. Yes, you really are. <laughs> <laughs> belief system. And that's it for the stack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to move on with our next section, which is my favorite section because I get to come out to you Whoa, all. Yeah. All stop. the hands are up. Okay. Yeah, wow. Every all single the hands are up. hand is up. Oh, amazing, amazing. Up. All right, I'll go in this up. order then. Uh, what is your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is Kier. How's it going, everybody? Hi. Hello. Hey. You mentioned that your daughter got into like everything Birds of Prey, including the soundtrack. Is that correct? Yeah. Awesome. So, Mike, <laughs> where's this going? So, to ten. Um, no, my question is for all of you guys: Was there ever like an action movie or a comic movie that you got so invested in, you even got the soundtrack? For me, it was like a lot of Tarantino movies and Spider Verse. I was gonna yeah. say. Oh, sorry. Got it. No. No, I was going to say one of the the first time that happened to me was Pulp Fiction. I got the Pulp Fiction soundtrack before I saw the movie, and there's clips of the movie in the soundtrack. So I remember being like, "Man, I can't wait to see this movie." And it was like yeah. really, and, and it's and it was I was young enough to be like really uh, like impressionable and and feel like you know w- w- I feel like when you're a teenager, Quentin Tarantino is as cool as he thinks he is. You know what I mean? Right. And so like you buy in completely. And I was, like, obsessed, and I couldn't wait to see it, and I saw it, and I was one of those people who made other people watch it. you got to see this movie. But, yeah, that, that's an example of that. That got, There may be others, but that one sticks out the most for me is uh, Pulp Fiction, for sure. Now, are there any... Do comic book movies ever have good soundtracks? Batman <laughs> Forever. Kiss from a Rose, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. Kiss from a Rose. That's that was going to be my answer. And uh, I, the, the, what was the one that, that had the, the two Smashing Pumpkins song? Like, one was called, like... The end is the beginning is the end, and the other song was called The Beginning is the End is the Beginning, but it was the same song, but one was slower. <laughs> you don't yeah. remember this? Yeah. You guys don't have the Batman Forever soundtrack. No, I I'm the I only one. <laughs> yeah. What about uh, Scott Fair Pilgrim? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good that's a good soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Uh, the original Street, Batman. Street Fighter yeah. Two, the animated uh, movie, uh, had a great soundtrack. Oh, Could why yeah. tell me what do you mean there was like a i think it was uh, uh, you know i don't know these bands very well but it was like soundgarden or, or <laughs> one of those uh smashing it w- Pete, I, I think your body's fully shut down right now. <laughs> but like i them, i really thought you were going to be like actually obscure bands like Temple i don't Pilots know really soundgarden it was like the Beatles, just for the movie rolling fucking, stones i don't know it, it was a really great song and they made it just for the movie Great. Uh, it yeah. sounds like a great kind of soundtrack. I can't believe you called any of those obscure bands. I didn't say obscure band. You said obscure band. You said obscure band. All right, Guys. roll back the tape. That's a thing we could do, right? Yeah, that's how it works in this yeah. our Ronnie, studio. Can you roll back the tape? Yeah, I'm on it right now. Okay, okay thanks. Actually, please don't touch it because it could fall apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please don't. Yeah, I noticed it's falling yeah. apart. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, we have a uh, we have a big bag of uh, old tapes. Dats. Yeah. In the back that we recorded. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. Good. <laughs> um, I'm trying learn. to think of like Black Panther had a great soundtrack. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Run the, that Run the Jewel song was fucking yes, fantastic. Definitely. Um, there's been yeah, there's been some really great. But uh, yeah, yeah, I got I got real. You got the touch. Yeah, that one. I went out and got the New Balances that were the Black Panther Marvel crossover ones, just because the I was shoes. so hyped. Shoes. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's not a Merch. it's not a comic book movie, but I I do remember being. Um, Way into like the Fight Club soundtrack. That's a good soundtrack. Oh That's yeah, a good that soundtrack. is a good soundtrack. Yeah. Snatch soundtrack is good. So, I don't think soundtracks are as good anymore. Like, I don't know. Oh, well, Black they're not. Panther they're not good. aiming for it in the same way, right? Like, yeah. Also, not, music's just different now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's too you're loud. such an old man. <laughs> yeah, well, you couldn't remember bands a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, there's no oh, way to sound more so washed than to, to, to criticize music. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't get rap music. It just oh, seems like <laughs> they're going so fast. Shut with up! The word. Get all that hippity like, hop noise. Yeah, yeah. What, no is that, what is it? That no music talking. It's Give me a good uh, Mozart, and I'm set. Oh, yeah. uh, all right, well. let's get our next question over here. Uh, name and question. Uh, my name is Kevin, and I am the new Starman. There you go. Oh. Uh, it's great. I have um, I have something uh, to say uh, after this section, which will uh, be pertinent to that. But thank you for your guess. Okay. Also, fuck Pete, <laughs> dude. Uh, can you tell him if he's close or give him a Is hand? It, what do you mean close? Help. There's a no, Help him. I'm dropping a clue in a second. Get okay, the fuck great. off my jock. Good. I'm glad you're finally doing it. Finally, the five years he had a quiz, a secret quiz. I have it more like two weeks, and you're already in my face. It was. It's more like. Seven at this point. So seven weeks? Yeah. Do you know how many weeks are in five years? <laughs> Do you ever think of having a therapist as a guest? <laughs> <laughs> Too disruptive. <laughs> 
talk about our feelings. Uh, okay. Now, you were talking earlier about Chance. And mm-hmm. going off of that, who are some other villains whom you really like and think, you know, just haven't gotten the exposure that they should? Uh, great question. You, you know, it's like um, in, in uh, Tangled Web, I love the treatment of the rhino. And I mm. like that. I thought that was so good. Like the the. Do you guys all remember that? Like like it was yeah. sort of like the, like a, what's that thing? Flowers for Algernon. Yeah, it yeah. was like that, but with the rhino. Yeah. And I thought it was so cool because like he's just like a lummox and he's not super, like um, the, you know, there's not a lot to him. He's pretty simple. So I like I like any hero that uh, I like any time that a that a villain is given, like, any sort of, like, backstory or, like, elevation of, like, uh, uh, of seeing them beyond just them as, like, a, a goon who's, like, the kind of, like, sometimes, like, the cold open for a comic book, you know? Well, it's, it's interesting that I feel like Marvel characters, there's, like, the Marvel method of having the characters have, uh, be heroes but also be, like, going through their own stuff in their personal lives. And I think uh, that doesn't really extend to the villains as much. Yeah. So yeah. when we actually get that, I think it's amazing. Uh, the character that first came to mind was Killer Croc uh, yeah. from Batman the Animated Series, who was, uh, oh, wow, oh, great. This guy coming with two drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the man. Two drink minimum. Uh, two drink minimum. Uh, there is no drink minimum. Killer Croc from the singing. Batman the Animated Series. Uh, because it, it, the episode where he uh, hooks up with um, the circus uh, yeah. characters yeah. Um, when they're staying in the cabin. And yeah. you really see the other side of him. And it really made the character likable and more interesting. Yeah, it's the thing they should do more often because it's like um, it's it's kind of like low-hanging fruit, right? Because... A lot of these big villains are so easily recognizable that, like, it just takes a little... You can do whatever you want with their background, you know what I mean? But, yeah, um, yeah I'll let someone else answer. Uh, for me, and this is something that uh, Langston always talks about, uh, one of his favorites is Taskmaster. And I yeah. feel like that's also a great villain that uh, could be used better and is, you know... Well, I feel like the first answer that came to my mind was Sandman, just because you were talking about mm-hmm. Spider-Man villains. And I think... With all of these villains, we've gotten really good stories over the years, but right. they kind of lay fallow for a while before somebody suddenly has a spark of an idea that just really works for people. Yeah, like put Sandman at the beach. Yeah, there you go. That would uh, be cool. Or like, don't touch water, Sandman. The Clayface that was on Batman Detectives, that was a yeah. cool uh, story. He was a legit yeah. hero. Yeah. How about the, the Clayface from the Batman animated series? That was amazing. That blew yeah. my mind. That was. At the end where it's like, you yeah. know, you see he's the the woman he's not really and and not to make this all about the animated series but also the treatment of uh mr freeze like yeah like so good that show was amazing truly yeah truly that amazing. was to bring us full circle that's where the debut of uh harley quinn where harley we started. Quinn, there yeah. you go now we're done the now we can finally retire full circle, yeah. 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 Uh, full uh, circle. Uh, I was going to say also Solomon Grundy from the uh, yeah. Starman series, oh. uh, another great uh, villain. And obviously everyone, the Punisher, a great villain. That there you go. The, the worst of the worst. Yeah. Uh, let's get our last question what here. What's your name? What's your question? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jesus. And a stupid, silly question. Which uh, superhero or supervillain would you love to see in an episode of Hop Ones? Oh, that's Ooh. hilarious. Oh, good. that's a good one. Wow. Superheroes. I would the, love to see the Joker. See the, how well the oh Joker would He would kill them. That's the social copy for this post. Um, <laughs> Look at this guy. Never stops developing. I'm always, I'm a, always working. That's going to be some great SEO. Yeah, oh, exactly. You two are having a, a little symposium. We're on this couch, barely able to stand up uh, like Pete Page. But what's that? What was the question again? Which superhero or villain would I like to see on Hot Ones? It's funny. Speaking of Hot Ones, that's a, a, a show that we talked about earlier. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, I would, <laughs> you know, one of the writers of the show, Hot Ones, is in the audience, in the audience? right now. Whoa! Give him a big round of applause. Wow. Chris, his name's Chris DeLuca. Yeah, wow, what, what, what Hot hard Ones to premieres it. tonight at 10 p.m. on True TV, and we have one of the writers here in the building right now. Oh my God, he's spraying that hot guy sauce. Right That's there. crazy. Hot you got, you got to go. You have like an hour before you need to start writing the show. That's how it works, That's how right? TV works. That's how TV okay. works. Yeah. You yeah. can tell he's a writer because he has two beers in there. <laughs> 100% correct. Yeah. All right, but to answer your question, um, I'm going to go last. 
So, no. <laughs> no, I really because I want to give a good answer. I, 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 yeah, I was going to say I, I was going to say the human torch to be a dick, but why don't you uh, you yeah. can develop your answer? Yeah, you yeah, work you work on it. You workshop some stuff. I mean, different than Joker. I actually my first thought was uh, Batman, just because of the idea of hot ones is to get people out of their head mm. to have Batman in a situation where he's eating the hot wings and just starting to sweat a little. You think bit. he'd be breaking me like, God damn it, I'm Bruce Wayne, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he his I mean, first he'd be like, I'm prepared for any eventuality. He'd be like, oh, this is fine. Yeah, I, like, this is I fine. like the flavor. I took an anti hot sauce toxin. Yeah. 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 No, it's, it's, it's like the 60s Batman. He coated his tongue in buttermilk or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some <laughs> bullshit, yeah. that Boy Scout shit. Uh, but that would be fun. Um, yes. Uh, oh, shit. I had an answer and then I just forgot what I was going to say. Uh, Pete, do you have an answer in the meantime? Uh, I said the Joker. You uh, did say the oh, Joker. The Joker. Yeah. He was going to murder everyone. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, Matter Reader Lad. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah, that is good. That guy eats everything. Yeah, he does. I actually would like to see the human sword because I don't think it would affect him. And I, I wonder. I, if I think it'd be cool to see him break heat. the show. Different types of heat. Well, he's that, not, we'll, he's, we'll, his heat isn't capsicum based. Well, either he would break the show, or um, he, we would learn that you know spice heat is different than you know. I would like to, temperature heat. I would like to have the beast uh, sit down because it would be fun to see like. Because the beast could get all intellectual while he's sitting there uh, and kind of like talk about like that is definitely not the, what I thought you were going to say. Oh. I thought you were going to say it would be fun to see all the hot sauce in his, his fur, face, his fur. <laughs> stuck on his fur. He's a mess, oh, Just a wow. messy beast. Why would no? I think Wolverine too. Like anyone who's a badass, because that that show breaks people down. You'd want to see yeah. like all right, let's see who's a real badass now. Like mm-hmm. it makes yeah. you like for all of his like cursing and posturing. The episode with um, uh, Gordon Ramsay. Is mm. really good because like he's like crying and like snot yeah. bubbles. He's broken down completely, and it's like that's the fun of the show is seeing people yeah. get broken all the way down. All right, great questions, everybody. And now, uh, oh yes, move on, gonna... before we move on, real quick, um, Pete uh, uh, busted my balls because hey, I what, don't have enough uh, clues. I guess. Well, uh, it, like people have been saying things, you're just like wrong. Like, are they close, Pete? Help you did that for. F- Five years. Yes. No, I didn't, assholes. Uh, when people would say things, so, I would be like, you're overthinking it. Dumb it down. So right. And the answer was, down. I would like to take the Punisher quiz. Yeah, that's right. Uh, great. Well, your clues were like, no. Also, your clues were like, no, stupider. <laughs> uh, Still was helping. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> in the it? spirit of that... Um, uh, since you challenged me, uh, I said um, all of the words in the the unlocking phrase in uh, our reviews of the stack. So you have to Whoa. listen back and see if you can put Are together. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, fuck you, idiot. <laughs> Wait, which... Uh, like, what's you'll, it? Of reviewing one comic or the whole show? You'll have Wait, to... Wait, what are we talking about? So, All right, so hey, do you want to? No, you go ahead. Okay. This is for the audience. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, the, I'm an avid listener. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the simple explanation is that Pete was running a secret Punisher quiz for five years but didn't tell anybody. Uh-huh. And then ultimately we found out about it. And over the course of the next couple of months, people unlocked the Punisher quiz. We had to have a key. You had to say a key phrase. The key uh-huh. phrase was, I would like to... Uh, Take the secret Punisher quiz. Take the secret Punisher quiz. Really? And someone figured that out? (laughs) I know. It's crazy. It's actually crazy that it took that long to figure out. Uh, And then uh, Pete challenged them to a series of trivia questions. And once they passed the trivia questions, they had to do a physical challenge. Uh, Real quick, uh, what do you think the physical challenge was? Uh, See, don't be a dick about it. I just want to explain it. Push-ups? Uh, no, it was actually uh, guessing a number that Pete was thinking of, which, as we all know, is a physical challenge. Right. Uh, and then, That's uh, the somebody... fun of it, because it's not a physical challenge. Uh, that is... <laughs> it's metaphysical. You are yeah. never allowed it's to criticize anybody about quiz making. Ever. I, I ever. sure as hell can. Careful, you're about to turn trivia over to him. In the yeah, yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then off of that, I ended up doing a secret cipher quiz, uh, which Kevin won, actually, uh, beat uh, over a series of questions that were in different languages. Uh, 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 followed by a physical challenge, which was guessing a number that I was thinking of. Uh, and now we have a Starman quiz yes. that Justin is running. Yes. And if you listen back to the stack from this week's show, uh-huh. you might be able to unlock The one it. that's yeah. dropping on Wednesday morning? No, no this show that we just that did, we just right, did yeah. right here. Ooh. You listened to the whole thing, Pete. Damn it. Yeah. He didn't uh, say anything that was out of the ordinary. He, he said, time? Savage Spider-Man Strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
That's nice. It. Close. I mean, that was just my guess. I'm just throwing that out. Anyway, we're going to turn it over to Pete LePage for trivia. <laughs> for trivia. Right, this is the part we give back to you, the <laughs> lovely audience. It's an opportunity with twenty-five free dollars. Who would like a chance with twenty-five free dollars and simple rinsey in the hand? Before you do that, I want to just describe for the podcast audience you know what just happened, which is that Pete uh, left, put down his microphone and started to walk away. No, it takes a lot to get out of this lowrider couch. Oh, okay. You forgot about it though it for like a second, a right? Hammock. That you needed a microphone. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, who wants to take this quiz? There we go. Kevin wants to take this quiz. Come First on up, hand Kevin. up guy. Come on down. First hand up guy. All right. Um, Kevin, today's trivia is on topical comic news. Please listen to all three possible answers before you choose. Okay. Question number one. Valiant Comics is relaunching what comic with a horror twist starting in May? Is it A, Shadow Man, B, Bloodshot, or is it C, LL Cool J? So it's mm. either A, or I'll, you could pick B. I'll go with A. A is correct. Wow. New Shadow nice. Man launching in May. I'm kind of excited for it. All right. Uh, who will star in Hickman's new uh, next giant size X-Men? Is it A, Wolverine, B, Storm, or is it Ooh. C, Joan Cusack? Okay. So it's either A, Wolverine, or it's B. I'll go with B. B is correct. Nice. Very okay. cool. DC, last question. DC is doing a secret history comic in May about what heroes? Is it A, Manhunters, B, Red Lanterns, or is it C, Robin Wright? So it's either A, and then you get $25. I'll go with A and toys. Nice. Oh, he solved it Confident. all in one. One of my favorite Unbelievable. movies, toys. Uh, there was oh. another secret quiz, by the way, a secret Robin William movie ah. with the third answer of Pete's question. That's so. right. Oh, Cool, cool J, J Joan C- Cusack, and Robin Wright all in toys. And Robin Williams. Of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great movie. Great movie. That is a soundtrack that I listen to nonstop. I listen to that soundtrack, too. It's a good too. soundtrack. Wow. Uh, very, like, some, like, weird songs. Yeah. yeah. Good movie. Love that movie. Definitely check it out. Uh, other things that you should check out. Tomorrow is New Comic Book Day. We recommend Whoa. you go to Midtown Comics yeah. because they've been nice enough to sponsor the show. Pete, what are you looking forward to? I am looking forward to Wonder Woman Death Earth number two of four. Oh, uh, yeah. It's an amazing comic, and... Um, you should check it out. It's really well drawn and written. That truly is a great comic. Yeah. Uh, is it by anybody you would know? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> do you want to say? Yeah, Daniel Warren Johnson. What did he also do? Uh, he also did a lot of, like, I mean, I can't go through all but Is of there ones particularly you want to well, mention? Well, let me think about it. Um, yeah, Murder Falcon. Talking uh, to you is go. like work all the time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like working in a coal mine, <laughs> except the black lung I have is just trying to talk to you. Cool. What are you uh, looking for? I'm trying to, to help you, but talking about your favorite you, thing. You, you sound like you a lot a of teacher. my family members and friends right now. <laughs> I consider myself both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> a member of your family and your big grudging friend. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for, I was just trying to look at what I was looking forward to, uh, but I think I'm going to say Deceased Unkillables number one. Yeah. Uh, which is a fun, uh, Deceased is a uh, series uh, focusing on sort of the zombie uh, version of uh, the DC universe. And this is a, f- uh, I'm excited that this is a fun uh, sort of take on that, getting into some Batman family characters and some other stuff. And we'll have a review of that in our Stack Podcast that posts Wednesday 9 a.m. in its own feed, as well as the Comic Book Club live feed. I'm looking forward to Marvel's Voices is coming out tomorrow. This is a anthology series based on the podcast. Um, for a co-worker of mine named Rob Markman, did a short story there. Uh, so we'll have a review of that as well yes. in our podcast. But if you're looking to read a bunch of new writers, check out some new artists. That's definitely one to check out. Jason, plug your stuff. What should people check out? Um, well, before that, I want to say I agree with Justin. I am looking forward to DC Comics presents Marvel Zombies, and I'm looking forward. And I'm looking forward to uh, catching up on um, this Spider Man story with Jay. It, this thing from the stack, the Spider Man 39, made me want to go back and like Ooh, jump nice. back into that. So uh, that's cool. But um, 
Yeah, check out uh, Hot Ones on True TV, and also uh, hit me up on uh, terriblejason.com. You can find my, you know, uh, Instagram on there, and 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 get caught up with. Uh, Everything, including, oh, my God, a podcast that I'm working on that I forgot to tell you about. I'll tell you about it at a bar after where no one can hear about it. <laughs> oh, that is an interesting well, way to plug. I, yeah. I record everything that happens to me, yeah, cool. so it's I, all good. Yeah, it, I, but but just be be aware of a podcast I'm working on called One of Those People uh, featuring me and uh, guests. I shot a pilot for it uh, last week. I'm going to put it up on TerribleJason.com. And um, look forward to that, and um, that's One the easiest way to keep in touch people. with me. Now, nice. I, 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 I we work together a lot. Yes. Um, you, so you shot a pilot because uh, we worked on an a, audio. Yeah, it's a, a podcast. You recorded an audio I, pilot. It, yeah, really like a proof of concept. And and at the end, I was like, this is good enough to put up as like episode one. Oh, that's great. But yeah, what were you gonna say? Uh, we, we worked on a show called the the Pause Button. Oh uh, lord, <laughs> yeah. How you tell you want to tell everybody about what that was? That was a show where we would go uh, out. Justin, <laughs> Justin would go out in the street and talk to people and show hold up to them a uh, like a tablet, like a, an iPad, and show them a funny animal clip, and then pause it at a key moment <laughs> yes. and ask people, "What do you think is going to happen next?" And they would have to guess: Does the dog bite the girl? Does the dog jump in the pool? Does the cop come? Whatever. And it was called. The guess. And it was a play on words because it's pause button, like uh, P A U S E, and uh-huh. pause. Button because the button was shaped like an animal paw. Okay, yeah. and that was like that was really all all it was. <laughs> it, was it was just a, a a pun, a video of a. And this pun. was a hour long drama, yeah. or <laughs> exactly okay in the style of um, house. But, <laughs> but also, uh, honestly, if you go to um, if you go to terriblejason.com, I will email you the pilot of that show, <laughs> and I am not kidding. I, I love, am not kidding. I love you emailing an MOV file yeah. of the pilot. No, I got it on my Vimeo page. Yeah, Justin uh, Tyler running around Columbus Circle, acting super enthusiastic about wild animal clips. Amazing! That's, what a life we've all led. Good Lord. Uh, Speaking of lives we live, there's a lot of things that (laughs) we want to plug before we go. Patreon.com slash comic book club if you want to support the show and the other shows that we do. You can also get some fun bonuses like uh, Pete talking to you about quizzes. Doing quizzes online, hanging yeah. out, chatting people about come, quizzes. People come to your house and develop a quiz around your life. Is it yep, lifestyle? That's right. right. Yeah. Life, yeah. That's great. I'll yeah. spend a day with you and then quiz you later about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. That is fun. He is our quiz uh, master. So, yeah, uh, you can check out that. Also, we do a bunch of other podcasts. Riverdale After Dark is our Riverdale podcast. That's every Wednesday after that show. Also, Katie Keencast, our Katie Keen podcast, is every Thursday after that show. Lock and Key Unlocked is our Lock and Key podcast, which is ongoing yep. at this point. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> way to Netflix say show it. Or yeah, no, it is. Yeah. What? The Netflix show or the comic book? Both. Uh, both. Both. We started off recapping each uh, volume of the comic book, and then we've been recapping every episode of the show. So Sick. we're we have four episodes of the show up at this point, and yeah. we're going to keep plugging through and get through the entire yeah, first yeah, season. Yeah, Justin's a busy guy. We're so. binge recording. Don't oh, do Justin's a busy guy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's yeah, like both a of you. <laughs> Well, Alex, Alex. I'm free. I have nothing going on except <laughs> for this. Except for this. That's, That's a it. family, Alex. a full-time job. Alex, why are you crying? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so those are all podcasts that you could check out. Uh, Pete, what else do you want to plug? Friend us on Facebook so you get to know about the amazing guests we have on our live show. Follow us on Twitter at Comic Book Live. And check us out at ComicBookClubLive.com for this podcast and more. iTunes, Android, Spotify, Stitcher to listen to the show and subscribe. On iTunes, please do leave us a comment because because that helps out a lot. A couple of people we want to thank. We want to thank Jason for being on the show. We want to thank Ryder Rotten. Ryder Rotten. But most of all, we want to thank you all. We're here every Tuesday night at 7, totally free. Please tell your friends good night. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming out.